So folks, today's horse racing, trials day at Cheltenham. What would we take out of that? For me, there's only probably two. The standout horses being Sergino and Lossy Mouth. Uh, worried when I've seen Sergino, won very, very well. You know I've got my bunting for the triumph hurdle, but I think I've got a saver on Sergino. I've got a saver on about four horses. I've cast a wide net over the triumph, and I'm pretty sure I've got something on Sergino, so I'm going to have a look in all my accounts later and see if I'm right. I hope I am. I knew about the horse before it ran, so hopefully I've had something on it. I think I did. Um, and Lossy Mouth, absolutely fantastic. I would say Sergino isn't home on hose yet. A lot depends on what happens in the DRF next week. And I, for, I thought, for all Sergino ran really, really well, I always thought Burdett Road might have been a, an overhyped horse. Looked good last time out at Cheltenham, but it came from nowhere. For all it finished well, it, its fencing wasn't great. It looks a headstrong horse. I don't think it beat much. And on the back of that, I'm not so sure what Sergino was beat today. I would suggest if anything wins the DRF race next week and wins by six or eight lengths, I would imagine they may be a better proposition for the Triumph. Because for all, Sergino looked great today. If something wins that race next week by six or eight lengths, because there's some really good animals in there from what I can see, then we look like we've got a really live contender there. As for Lossy Mouth, absolutely fantastic. I believe it's going for the mares. Can't see anything touching that. Really, really can't. I've waited for the last couple of months for that one to come out. Bit of a favourite of mine. Did me a good favour last year in the Triumph. As I said, I've done well in the Triumph for the last few years. And Lossy Mouth was certainly one of those. So, yeah. And I think everything Ruby says is spot on. Don't go for the champion yet. Give Constitution another year to get older. And more importantly, Lossy Mouth to get older and to mature. And then give it a go. Because you've got to think, if Constitution Hill doesn't fall, State Man and, and the others probably aren't capable of beating him. Lossy mouth may, and obviously she'll get her. Will she get seven pounds in the tri and the champion next year? I'm sure she will. You never know. M might just make it a closer race than we'd normally get. So anyway, there's the thoughts from me. So Gino and Lossy mouth, they're the big two horses today. I think the juvenile of Mullins is in uh, in Ireland ran pretty well as well. Uh, don't know much about that horse. Was it a mare? I think it was again. I think it was. Uh, but other than that, no great takeouts for me. I wouldn't say no, no, no great takeouts. And juggle racing. But they were definitely the two standout performers. Do you agree? Or have you got others that you've enjoyed watching today and got more from than the two I've mentioned? Let me know down below. Rhymed again, that. Brilliant.